Well, Gary, absolutely marvellous news. Once again for welcome to Yorkshire and the whole of Yorkshire. Just how do you react? Yeah, uh, well, we're thrilled tonight. We hope that everybody in Yorkshire is as thrilled as we are. To get another major, major sporting event. It'll be the biggest sporting event that happens in the UK in 2019. And it's happening here in Yorkshire. How good is that? I was, was going to say, it's been a fantastic decade, as you alluded to, in the press conference for Yorkshire and for Britain. And it really caps it off, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It really bookends it really well. So we're, we're absolutely chuffed to pieces. Um, and the fact the event will go to all four parts of the Yorkshire, north, east, south and west, over a week of cycling, it will be immense. It will be like the Tour de France all over again. And when you look at the work that's been put into this, I've been speaking to people who said just how much has gone into it. That reward when you hear that Yorkshire will be representing, it must be a fantastic feeling. I'm really, really pleased for the team at Welcome to Yorkshire who worked so hard on all this sort of stuff um, and do a great job and don't get massive amounts of recognition. So for them, I'm really chuffed tonight. And when you look at the legacy that Yorkshire has with cycling, I mean, you've got the Grand Par, the Tour of Yorkshire, which obviously is happening year on year. It just shows the audience really is there for cycling in Yorkshire. Absolutely, absolutely. There's a passion for cycling in Yorkshire that's been going on for a long, long time. Uh, you've got the daughter of Beryl Burton here. Uh, you've got Brian Robinson here. You know, Yorkshire's got a rich, rich cycling history. Um, we're late entrance to the party, but hopefully we're doing a good job of it. And it must be a fantastic feeling for yourself when you think when this all started, you know, hoping that the audiences would come, hoping that it'd be a sellout each time, and knowing that that really is the case. Well, when it all started, everyone thought this was a PR stunt. You know, when we announced that Yorkshire was going to bid for the, uh, the Grand Depart, the Tour de France, people smiled and went, yeah, right, yeah, you know. No one's smiling now. And when you look at this event, it's going to be just, for the world of cycling, it's such a huge event, and to know that Yorkshire will be on the map yet, yet again, it must be brilliant. Yeah, absolutely fantastic, and I'm thrilled with people like Barry Hoban, eight stage wins of the Tour de France, who, you know, and all the other guys who are in the cycling world, the women who are in the cycling world, Lizzie Danan, obviously our world champion, currently from Yorkshire, really good news. And I suppose, finally, for yourself, it must be a case the hard work really starts now, now you've got it, the plans have to be in place. Well, we've been planning for months anyway for it, so, you know, we just continue with that, but not tonight.